Mon Cole. There he is. He had some car troubles. Look at that thing. He's fired up though, I guarantee it. It's not even a pawpaw rig, that's a Meemaw rig. <laughs> you about started on fire halfway down. Can't wait to hear about it. It was, it was great. Dana to the rescue. Me, you should have seen me on the dead run into Home Depot to buy some water. <laughs> she had, the car. It was on fire, you ran into Home Depot, bought water and then put it out? No, so I was just driving and I had like a picture up there on my dash. And all of a sudden my car started smelling and I lifted the picture up and my check engine light and my oil light just flashing. So I quick pulled over and got to like a Home Depot Napa parking lot. And I'm like, oh, it's gotta be low on oil. So I like pour oil in it, but I spill a little bit and it kind of drops down. Also got on the flames, exhaust manifold. Flames start going. And uh -huh. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm about to burn the car down. So I just threw all the food out of my cooler and just took the cooler and just dumped it right on my engine. And then it still was kind of dwindling. So I like sprinted into Home Depot and bought three bottles of water right at the register. <laughs> and then I sp sprinted back to the end of the parking lot and dumped it on there and then it was out. Now it's running fine. Yeah, I mean, it's a Buick. Yeah. It doesn't take much. No, you've been on them though? I think you might have got here just in time to watch a buck die. Right in the nick of time. Tyler just flew back this morning. Oh really? Mm -hmm. You just need to keep Dana's number saved in your phone. Uh, yeah, so when you have any further troubles, don't call me, call him, because I'm just going to tell you to call him anyway. <laughs> Nick's dad, the THP mechanic. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's the THP automotive MVP. Yep. Yeah, he, and he, does, he doesn't even have to put hands on it. You just give him a call and he just yeah. tells you what to yeah. do. Yeah. I'm just sitting there. So do this. Yep. Well, what's this look like? Yep. He's like, all right, turn the car off. Let it idle, turn it back on, and it should go away. And it went away, and it was fine. Oh, yeah. My, uh, he told me to electrical tape that, whatever, I don't even know what it's called, under my hood this spring during turkey season, it's still electrical tape. <laughs> but he's right. He's like, it'll run. It'll go. I don't know what that's called, but some sort of air. Yeah, something. But it's taped up. Good for another 100,000. Oh, easy. Easily. Dana Andrews, stamp of approval. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Any luck? Don't want to fawn. I want to call to see Tyler's buck. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Getting pretty hot. Well, I'm just kind of fat. <laughs> you said Man, it. Even when I'm in shape, I mean, I can. You said it, not me. What'd you call me last? The other night, husky. husky. I don't think I would have said something that nice. I would have. I think you told me that I actually like wasn't as bad as you thought. I did say that actually. I think you did. That was pretty nice of me. Yeah. It's like opening a Christmas gift. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I know. <laughs> it's just dumb. That is ridiculous. How wide did you say he was? 17? He's like just under 17. Just under 17. Holy cow. I've never held a deer this big. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that die, personally. Me neither. I, mean, this is I, I haven't either because I didn't really see him <laughs> until well, after you he pulled saw the him as much as Nick and I saw him. We just saw you guys like, <laughs> we, like two six foot three guys shrink down to like this. <laughs> yeah, just kind of start Elmer fudding it over. <laughs> I guess so I you, did see him first, but I didn't, I literally couldn't see him at all when Tyler pulled the trigger. You he was this big when you shot him? Or I mean, we, yeah, we saw him from like 500 yeah. yards. And I mean, that's just unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Thanks for passing back to me like he's mine, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're gonna get one? Well, if I said no, then why would I just drive home right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> But I'll just call us when he's down and we'll come storming in on him. You'll have to. You got both packs, both of my pack braids out. Yep. Might not be my gun, but by golly. We're giving it away. I talked to Luke and Hayden about it. The gun. Oh. And I'm actually being serious. No. Am I not, Nick? Yeah. It's happening. Let him know, actually, Zimmy, about the gun giveaway. Zimmy's really excited about giving these things away. He's, he doesn't want to keep one. You are giving it away? No, we'll probably give a different one away. Uh, well, it's been a couple days since we shot that doe. Cole Booth has since left us last night. So Nick and I figure we'll probably kill today. This is the first day it's been windy since we got here, I feel like. Yeah. 
wind gusts are supposed to get up to like 30 miles an hour today. And this morning we just popped into a spot that's real close to the road. Tyler and I come in here on one day scouting around and we jumped up a really nice buck right by this clump of trees out here. And we've just been driving the road past this spot a bunch. And it's real sandy around here so you can see tracks real well. And there's still a big set of tracks coming up out of here. And there's a fresh set after every rain it's, it seems like. So that buck is still in here or a different one it seems like. Whether or not he's bedded in the same spot on the public, we're not sure, but that's what we come in here to find out hopefully this morning. Right as we popped over, there's a couple does right down in the same area that he was bedded at. So maybe he's down in there bedded, bedded down already and he'll stand back up here when the sun gets up and shift around a little bit or maybe he's bedded not too far away and he'll make his way back to that same spot. The same wind direction he was in there on the last time, so. Hopefully we can get some eyes on him. six days ago now and we jumped up a really big buck I was looking at the footage today and you can just tell in a couple frames that he's a he's a pretty good one I think we've been following that deer's tracks around we followed him deeper into the piece here and hunted there two or three days in a row and just saw does but every time we walk in this area we've cut a new set of big tracks so today we started back out right where we originally bumped him and we caught a glimpse of two bucks going in to lay down right where we bumped him from I don't know that we got any footage of it because we were looking right into the sun and we only caught a quick glimpse of them, but it's been a struggle to find another shooter buck. It's been seven days since Tyler shot that buck, I think, and we haven't had an opportunity at a, a nice buck yet, or at least I haven't. So hopefully tonight's the night. The weather's warmed up a lot. It's in the 90s, but we actually have a breeze today, which we haven't had the whole time we were here, which is pretty rare, but we're going to get up to this little knob that we could see them from this morning and hopefully they just feed right out in front of us. Either one of those two bucks or maybe a bigger one was bedded down before we got in here and we haven't got eyes on them yet. We just catch quick glimpses of these deer with the terrain the way it is and then they disappear so I can see us also having to maybe make a move on these bucks if they get through one of our openings. We know they're in here we just pretty much have to get eyes on them. That's the first step and then with this wind tonight I think we should be able to move, make a move just like we did Tyler's. If you haven't checked out that video, check it out. And check out our little Catch Clean Cook video we did as well. That should have some of the details on this bad boy right here that we might be giving away. Pretty slick gun that we had gifted to us. So we're gonna get up to this little knob and start a hunt. Just come on. 
running up out of there in our direction. He stopped a couple times, but we were just scrambling to get turned towards him and whatnot. And last we saw, he was going into these cedars in front of us, or right towards him at least. But there's so much for them to disappear behind. Who knows if he's in here, if he went across the road. I got a feeling that he's in there now. We know there's also another buck still down in there probably. At least one, so kind of in a weird spot right now where we're standing up because who knows when he might pop out, but we're not in a great position if something else pops out. I'm going to try to slide up this knob a little bit just so we can see back the other way better still. Yeah. Just sat in the truck. <sighs> yeah, he probably ran around the truck. It's about five minutes after seven now. I think it's been an hour since we saw that buck come running out of where he was bedded this morning. We've moved over, I don't know, probably about 100 yards from where we were sitting initially. In the cedar thicket he went into is probably another, the front of it is another 80, 90 yards ahead of us, but it's on the top of a little lip, and we think he went on the back side of that lip. Since we've moved over here, we've seen one other deer out there walking in the general vicinity where he came from. We're just hoping that he's still in this thicket here and gonna either gonna come out on the other side of it. That sun's starting to get down pretty low now. Some things should start shaking up, you would think. Deer down by the road, dude. Go. Where's our sweet prince at? He's just getting his going out clothes on. Up with the lady. Lady. Just polishing up his hands. Probably is in there thrashing, isn't he? There he is, there he is, right here. Let me know when, Nick. Where is he? Oh, I got him. Got him? Yep. Ah. Oh, he's done. He's done, Jake. He's smashed. Stay out. Yeah, boy. There he goes. There he goes, Jake. 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 <laughs> 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 I have to try so hard not to hit you. Yeah, he He's a nice one too, buddy. He's a nice one. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Dude, that's right where I dreamt of him coming out. Just facing me. Right. <laughs> I just come. I was filming that doe and you're like, dude, right here, right here. <sighs> yes, dude. <laughs> Cold boot, he should have stayed, buddy. <laughs> The lucky kids. I think the same shoes Tyler was wearing on. But he was wearing when he shot. I'm not overly superstitious, but I like changing things up. It's I'm not, not superstitious, I'm just a little stitious. I just like changing things up until something works. I had to put my MN concrete shirt on and tie their shoes before we were able to get I want to just run over there and grab all our stuff and drag it over here. You want me to come with? You just stay here with the, stay on you. Nick's going to get our stuff, but he was 111 yards. Right there. We last saw him, he was coming up this ridge. Then we lost him, so we just figured he was right up in there. He must have just bedded down in that shade in the cedars. And he'd come popping right out. But he got on a little trot. I think he's just on edge just because it's windy today. Seems like one windy day sometimes, especially in open country, they'll just get up and make a big move real fast. And he's just about to disappear behind that lip for me. So I put it right on him. I didn't want to give him a chance to disappear and get in some terrain where we lost him and never got eyes on him again. And he ran like 15 yards and tipped over. Looked like a nice eight pointer. 
that's the only shot opportunity I have had in seven days of hunting here. Every other buck I've seen besides this one and his buddy this morning has been running. But in this spot in particular, every time we cruised down this road or walked into this spot, we cut a new fresh set of buck tracks. Next about back, we'll jet down there and take a look at him. The good news is he did half the dragon for us. He's dead right there in Nick's truck. You can probably see it if I crop in this. Right there. And that's a hunt. That's as thick and a nice thing as he drug himself most of the way out for us. I know it. <laughs> Nick and I even got our, our shopping done today for being gone for half a month. Yeah, being gone half the month of September. We even got some uh, candles for our old ladies. <laughs> yeah, we got some candles. So they, they'll be happy when we get home. Oh, so, so happy. <laughs> wow. We can be able to show that on YouTube. <laughs> nope. We have to tip this guy over for you guys. Then we'll get him up on the hill right away. Yeah. Because that's graphic. You're going to have to go to the deer school to see what happened there, I think. Let's get him up there. Look at all the blood. Uh, if you want to see what we're talking about, just go to the deer school and watch the uncensored version, maybe. <laughs> that is graphic. Or maybe even just up on that knob right there. Yeah, that knob would be easiest. <laughs> <laughs> that's a day eight deer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially cool. when you're not, like, he's the biggest buck I've seen, clearly. Since the one that uh, Tyler killed? Yeah. Definitely the biggest one I've seen and, since uh, then. One that we saw in this spot, we can flash the footage, you can't tell very well, but that was a big buck, and that's what led us to killing this thing, but we, uh, we got pretty fired up there. <laughs> we got pretty jazzed. He's beautiful. Got an early season cape on. Uh -huh. I mean, the plan worked, I guess. That was... Got the whole day is like spot something in the morning hopefully get a shot at it if not just be back up on an observation object yeah. like that <laughs> it wasn't 10 minutes after we got here he come running out of his bed we saw him go in this morning and ran into there but it was a hard quarter two or frontal shot i'd say mm -hmm. and he had his head down and like i said you're gonna have to l watch the deer school if you want to see the uncensored version and uh that's something you guys should do anyway because that's why we were able to one of the reasons we were able to bring you on uh -huh. full time is nick's kind of took and reins of that yeah and uh i don't know <laughs> i'm glad we're doing it <laughs> yeah that is a big part of why we're, we we're able to hire you it's yeah. just like people supporting us by subscribing to the deer school and <laughs> thanks for subscribing <laughs> i really appreciate it it allows me to come be out here with y'all and do this and because we wanted to keep them around and uh because you guys were able to so thanks for all of your help with the merchandise and the deer school and everything like that but this thing drug himself <laughs> <laughs> halfway to the tr truck just yeah. right over there i mean he ran 700 yards across i could see the top of the truck <laughs> very and he's maybe a uh, hundred Yards in the road. <laughs> we're talking real fast and breathing heavy because I mean this all just happened. <laughs> I mean we're losing light, so yeah. we're trying to pull him over here so we can get some video of him and take some pictures and talk about it. It's I don't know. It's all kind of a shock right now because it's been so slow. Much you know feast or famine. It was yeah. feast the very first day and it's been famine ever since then. And uh -huh. It's just taken us a really long time to get to this point. And it's funny we were here the same amount of days, if not maybe one less day than where we were just at bow hunting, yeah. but it's felt like twice as long just because we were on deer every day where we were at previously, but here, like you said, first day was great, but it passed out, it's been a struggle yeah. to see something tough. other than a doe. Yeah, but, and we've seen a pile of those. <laughs> yeah, it's not like they're not here. We're seeing big buck tracks a lot of the places we go, but none of the deer were really covering much distance other than when he made a jaunt across yeah. the prairie this afternoon, but pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm fired up. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder... I was thinking this morning when we saw him, do you think it's the one that you and Zimmy kicked up back there? I think it is. He had really light antlers like this, and it's the same kind of frame. Yep, we'll be able to tell. Maybe we'll, right, we'll definitely flash some footage over there. Yeah, we kicked him up, I don't know. Several hundred yeah, yards. Probably half mile. Yeah, half mile that way, yep. and then saw him even further in later that evening. You guys will have to let us know what you think, if you think it's the same deer or not. Oh, cool. Let's get him out of here. Oh. Got a little acorn just like Tyler's have. <laughs> Only what my reaction will be like. Cause that I was rolling, cause that doe just popped out. I was we were rolling the GoPro and I was rolling on here. You're like, here he is right here, here he is right here. Let me know when you're on him.